But guys, it's time for the epic reveal of where this trip will be to. Guys, on the count of three, where are we going? One, two, three. <laughs> you guys, I want to jump on and say good morning, but we have to address the haircut. I went for it, you guys. I tried to copy the boy's haircut. My hair starts a lot further back than theirs, which I'm just realizing now that I see it in the camera. This is a hairstyle I legitimately had in 1995, 94, 95. I had this exact haircut. It wasn't cool then. I don't know that it's cool now. What do you guys think? It's kind of bad now that I see it. I liked it in the mirror, but man, it is not looking good in the camera. But the kids say they like it. You guys like my hair? Yeah. The boys honestly came up and legitimately said they love it So I'm gonna keep it for the time being we'll see how it plays on vacation here I was gonna show you guys what goes into packing for vacation as a vlogger So I was gonna show you kind of some of the things that we bring and I went to go grab the camera to do that And the boys all had packed their own bags So these boys took it upon themselves to grab a bag and pack it themselves for vacation And I just thought you guys might want to know what would a kid pack into a backpack as they were leaving for vacation If they were in charge of packing themselves so we're gonna start youngest to oldest here we're gonna start with our Brexy Doodle. Brexy Doodle, show us what you've packed in this bag of yours. This is what a five-year-old would bring right here. Here's what a five-year-old would bring in. This is what I would honestly say. Every bag is packed pretty dang full. Like, you guys have maximized the space here. So, Brexy. stuff I got for him to put it in there. I know. I heard these two conspiring and helping each other out, and crew would be like, look, there's two. We can share. You put one in your bag. So, let's see what they got in here. So, first of all, ooh, a book. I like that. Stuffed animal. Can I see him? I'll put him back in there for you. I just want to see him. A stuffed animal to keep you company. I love it. A book. Okay, love Love it. <gasps> Ooh, a rocket tail blanket. I love it. What else you got? An extra hat, just in case you never know if you need a camo hat. And then I think I see, is there something in this pocket? Looks like it's a see-through. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Okay, stash him away, stash him away. That's a great stash, I love it. Okay, if you wanna pack yours back up, let's move on to Kruby Doo and see what he packed in his bag. Crew Bingham, seven-year-old, nearly eight, packed his own pack pack. I call them pack packs, because that's what we've called them since you guys are little kids. Yeah. Obviously, it's a backpack. Show us what you got, bro. So, I don't know if there's anything in here. No, so, yeah, nothing in that pocket. Okay. But, we do have something in this one. Okay, I like this pocket. What's this so, pocket? I like to look at football cards a lot, so I just, can look at my oh, football so you cards. just stacked a bunch of football cards in there. Very smart, very cool. And then this. Next pocket up. Hat and a stuffed animal. Okay, I like it. So we've got a sock monkey puppet or whatever you call these things. We got a little KZ hat. Love it, just in case. You know, can never have too many hats, you guys, of what course. What pins are the best brand? Okay. Oh, wait, what? What? Big Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> we better hide those, we better hide those. Nice haul. Wait, dude, you've got a lot more than just that in there. Don't open those, that's for the trip. You've got a stuffed turtle. You've got... <laughs> Elf slippers <laughs> that jingle. <laughs> Why are these in here? You've got, what else? You've got two books. Harry Moon is my favorite. Okay, love it, love it, love it. And then, of course, a rocket tail blanket as well. This is, wow, you guys, wow. A lot of stuff. And a Simon. And a Simon, and a Simon says. <laughs> wow, Kruby Doo, phenomenal use of space in that backpack. I've gotta give you credit for that one. Oh, Love the big Sour Patch Kids. My Tamagotchi. <laughs> Tamagotchi. I have to say, of everything, I'm a little confused on the purpose of these on our vacation. However, you might find a use for them. Kruby Doo is repacking his elf slippers and football cards over there. Now let's move on to Rye Guy. What would a nine, almost 10 year old pack in his own backpack? So I'm Rocket tail as well. Bring I think those are so weird, but you guys love them. So all you have to do is put your feet in it. These kids will love these. <laughs> so there you go. Show us what you got in your backpack. So it's not really a backpack. More like a duffel, because you're kind of a little more mature, a little older, a little more savage. Oh, of course, this is how we bang them. I'm gonna do my hair on the way there. Obviously. Then... Okay. So, oh, okay. Backup hats again. Okay. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Love it. Okay. Harry Moon. Love it. Lots of reading. Oh, right, guys cities of the world. Okay, guys, look at the differences here. We're moving up into a more mature bag here with more books and again, a stingray stuffed animal. There are stuffed oh, animals, yeah. universal, and a laptop. Dodge Charger SRT. <laughs> Dodge Charger SRT. A laptop and a Ford F-150 Raptor. Yeah. Look at this though. Raga, laptop, books, stuffed animal, backup hats, and a rocket tail. Dude, love it. Not a bad job packing for yourselves here. Now there's... <laughs> Hazy wants in on this so bad she's climbing in front of me on the table. Hazy, show us what's in your bag. What would a princess pack for vacation? Should we open it? Yeah. Okay. What if she just packed a bunch of candy? That's what I would pack. Oh, oh my goodness. Hazel girl, I love this bag. We have an Anna doll. That's from potty training. An Elsa doll, also from potty training. An Olaf, also from potty training. What else do we have in here? Hazy girl, you've got a great backpack here. We've got 
stickers, crayons, learning cards, yarn books, a coloring book with Sophia the First. Hazel oh, Prince. And a napkin to wipe <laughs> off if we get messy, huh? <laughs> Wait, she is messy. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, I love it. That was a lot of fun seeing what you guys pack in your bags. Now, I think mom's gonna show us the activity books that she's made for you guys so that you have some fun activities to do on the drive. Hello everyone, you guys, welcome to today. You guys saw dad, he's showing what the kids are packing for the trip. It's always fun to see what the kids are gonna pack because it's not anything that they'll actually need, but to them, that's their priorities. Gotta have a blanket. Ryla says, mom, can I bring my minky? Here's something, we never travel with our minkies because hotels are gross. Even if you get a super nice hotel, hotels are gross. I understand the hotel's the car ride. You're just messy, you're well, snacking, you're- I've never let my minky leave the house. That's a rule I have. My hair looks terrible right there. I promise in real life it's better. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go fix this, I'll be back. No, you just need to fix the one side right here. Just right there, like here. Like, does it not have product or? Probably not, because I only put a little bit in and I did this with my hand, that's all I did. That or I wonder if the line needs to go up further. I thought about that, but that seems dangerous. That's full commitment if I go up higher with the line. What do you mean full commitment? You kind of already shaved the side of your head. So I feel like at this point, like I could still kind of like blend in and buzz the top if I change my mind. Anyways, I'll see you guys. I'm like 20 something. Yeah. <laughs> Midlife crisis! <laughs> Still videoing you. <laughs> Back to me and my travel tips. You guys have kind of seen this whole week has been like us getting ready for a trip. That's because we've had such a busy week. I've needed the entire week to plan. You saw me pack on Tuesday. Yesterday, I did something. I don't know what I did this week. I've done a lot this week, okay? But today, that's all we're focusing on. Today, I'm gonna show you the travel binders. So I've had a couple of messages from you and I'm sorry if I haven't gotten back to you. I've been trying to figure out how I want to do this. I'm going to show you this, but I also want to figure out how to get it on the blog where you guys can click on it, download it to your own computer, print it for yourself. I'm still trying to figure that out, but I want to show you what I put in them. These ones don't seem as fun as ones I've, ever, I've done before, so I think I'm going to print a few more pages. I'll let you know. So I printed these. This is Ryler's travel binder. I just did a one inch binder, like nothing super fancy, but honestly, whatever you can find cheapest. And then I bought them new pencil bags. These were a dollar. And then I found boxes of 24 sets of crens for 50 cents. So I split those up between the kids, bought cheap pens, grabbed a pencil from the drawer, and then you guys, this is the activity book I wanna show you. This is like 13 or 14 pages, and it just has tic-tac-toe. There's also the dot game. My kids love this game. Just draw lines and connect the dots and make a box, draw a picture of themselves. There's also like different train cars you can see. I mean, there's so much you see whenever you're on a road trip. Abstract art. These are license plates, so wherever they see, like if they see a Michigan license plate, they color in the box. More license plates. ABC signs. So they look for signs that start for each letter of the alphabet. Design your own license plate. Word scramble, these are all fun words for like car, parks. This is when you grab a leaf or something, you put it under the page and then you color on top of it. Makes a really cool design. So you guys, this packet has so much stuff. And then animal drawings, just any animals they see. That binder is gonna keep them busy for a long time. Just those coloring pages. Some other things I do, I'll show you. I ended up buying these. These were like a quarter for one. The kids can just doodle in them. They like to just color. I feel like I got this book from one of our subscribers. This is probably from one of you. Little fun book of questions. This is just gonna give our car fun things to talk about. What is the most exciting thing you've learned in the last 12 months? Just fun little questions. These things are such great things to just have because you find out so much about your kids and your family whenever you talk and this one is specifically made for kids. Another thing I found, I was at Smith's Marketplace a couple months ago and I found these road trip bingos. Initially, they start with them all open. If they see a girl, you just slide it over. If you see a motorcycle, slide it over and then I'll have little treats they can earn if they get a bingo. I have four different ones for all four kids. That will be super fun for them. Another thing I got, I found this book on Amazon. I'll have to link it for you guys on the blog post. This was a little book that was like attached at the top. So I just ripped out all the pages and laminated them so they're reusable. So there's different sides. There's so many different ones and there are more you find the hidden pictures in the scene and then you can color it. The problem I had with this book on the last road trip and even a cruise race a couple weeks ago, I took this for Hazel and she totally got dry erase marker. I took these Expo markers and and I had her color with these. Well, she got it on her clothes, and guess what? Expo does not come out of clothes. You can spray and wash it, you can do whatever you want to it. I could not, I have not been successful in getting it out. But guess what I found yesterday when I was walking around Walmart? I found these on Amazon, but they were an add-on item, so I couldn't buy them unless I was spending enough money in a certain other area. I found Crayola dry erase washable ones. These are perfect because she can color on them. If she accidentally gets it on her clothes, it's fine, it'll wash out. We have the dry erase Crayola markers. Those will be great for that, and then 
a must that we need for traveling, new movies. And the kids have been watching High School Musical 3 because it's been on Netflix. So I got on and I bought all three High School Musicals. The only problem is Amazon is delivering one of them tomorrow and we will be gone. I have one in three and then my kids love Mr. Peabody and Sherman. So we have a couple new movies for the car. I feel like with all of this, with the treats and the snacks, we should be fine to drive however far we're driving. You guys are probably wondering why I'm dressed like this. Well, because I decided to overschedule myself on the very last day before we're leaving out of town and said I committed to a neighbor that we would go to the pond. I'm happy I did because I'm having fun with the kids. That's why you guys have seen me getting ready all week because I knew that we would be busy today. I'm gonna take the kids to Manila Pond. It's this cute little place by us. We're gonna take the kayaks and play for a couple hours, come home and get ready and go to dinner with the gardeners and Rebellies. Kids are loaded, got the kayaks in the truck. We're headed to the Manila Pond. Kayaks, life jackets, looks like we're good to go. We are just getting here. It is very windy, very windy. Hopefully this is fun. Looks like this is the spot to be today. We're here, it's crazy crowded, but it's so fun. They have this section right here roped off so you can just play and not get out any kayaks or anything. Miss Hazy, Hazel, are you having fun? You look so cute. All right, guy, here, let me help you. Kirby, you're going in for sure, buddy. There's Brex Claire out there. Bye, guys, getting all ready. Have fun, guys. Hazy, do you love the water? You felt a jellyfish, huh? Yeah, he really did. Oh my Alright guys, watching these boys over here fish. There's actually been a few kids come out with little little fishies that they've caught. I've been quite surprised. Is he fishing? He brought a net and I didn't even think to bring a net, but there's real fish in here, huh? My Kirby. Already dry. You just relaxing? Just laying out. I'm gonna yeah, go get some water on your brush and bring it back. She keeps doing, she went and got some, oh, there's sand in there. She keeps doing uh, makeup on my arm, huh? Will you paint my fingernails now? Paint them. I can't. Oh, it got sand. Good job, you're so good at painting nails. Hazy's having a snack. The boys are over here watching some kids try and fish. They're just having a great time, just entertaining themselves, having fun. All right, you guys know I've been a mom of all boys for a lot longer than I've been a mom of a girl. But I just walked by and saw this and I had to share it with you. They brought their little Barbies out here and they have made a Barbie hot tub. Hazy, what is this? It's a hot tub. Barbies are just catching some rays here in the sun. Uh-oh, she fell asleep in the hot tub. Are they just sunbathing? Yes. yes. We've been hanging out here for a little while, but the time is coming, we have to go home. We still have a lot to get ready for tomorrow, so we're gonna head home. I definitely need a shower because there was a little girl who looked like she was drowning and I ran out into the water, so now I smell like a pond. I'm gonna go home and give these kids baths. Hazy is just so happy playing, playing with the girls, playing in the sand, she's loving it. We will definitely be back, this place is so fun. Should we head home and get ready for our trip? Yes. All right, you guys, so I thought it might be fun for you to see what I pack for a trip. No, no, I'm not talking about my shoes and swimsuits and tank tops, because who cares about that stuff when it comes to me? I know. It's it's cute when it's the kid than when it's hazy especially. But what I pack to vlog the experience, you guys, there's a lot that goes into packing for a vlogger's vacation. Let me just show you the hallway that I've got going here. And this does not even include computer equipment. This is just to get video. And it doesn't include the camera that I'm holding or any of the accessories for that, including batteries and chargers. So in order to get an epic vlog, this is what you've got to take with you. So you've got to pack the drone. You've got to get batteries for the drone. You need portable chargers for phones so you can keep up on those Insta stories at this is how we being them on Instagram. Instagram, don't forget to follow. You've got to have a variety of GoPro cameras, especially when you're going to be going underwater, you're going to be at a water-based location, which is usually where we end up, whether it's a pool, ocean, lake, whatever. Uh, by the way, guys, we will be telling you in this vlog where we're going, so stay tuned. Sorry for all the teasing. You've got to have a bag to carry it all in. You've got to have a fanny pack. <laughs> Just kidding. You don't have to have a fanny pack. Drone case, chargers, cables, controllers, and everything's gotta be ready to go. So I've just recently rain the front screens on these GoPros to make sure we don't get the water spots. I've got the drone batteries charging, GoPro batteries charging, everything charging up to get ready to go in the morning to our destination. Now this is one that I haven't used in a long time because I usually just use these floatable handles. Again, when you're around the water, you wanna make sure stuff floats. So I've got floatable handles for all the GoPro gear. This is not floatable, but it's extendable. And there's a certain shot that I want while we're out there and since we're about to reveal to you where we're going this will make sense in a minute but there are these shots where people are on paddle boards stand up paddle boards and you hold the GoPro way out like this extend it out high and you can see straight down through crystal clear water right underneath your stand up paddle board so that's a shot that I want to try and get so I'm bringing this for that that's just the camera gear of course the camera that I'm holding our main vlog camera gotta bring that but in order to get the vlogs out to you guys we need portable hard drives for storing all of our content SD card readers for getting all the footage off the camera 
cameras and onto the laptop, the laptop, so we can edit the footage and upload it to YouTube. Of course, charging cables and chargers for that. I actually have spares of all of this in case anything goes down because we don't want to be caught not able to upload a vlog for you guys. So I've got a separate backpack down here by my man slippers. <laughs> Guys, it gets cold down here. So I've got a separate bag down here that just holds hard drives, headphones, chargers, cables, anything we might need to make sure we can get the vlog up. And like I said, backups of all of that just to be sure. Now you guys remember we recently went on vacation. We had terrible Wi-Fi and had an abysmal time uploading the vlog. I think that was in Vegas. It also happened in Tahiti. So I'm actually looking into a few other options, portable Wi-Fi on the go. The problem is most of them are based off of a 4G network, which our phones are. So worst case scenario, I do use my phone to upload the vlog, but that's still really bad for uploading a vlog because the vlogs are huge files because they're long HD videos. But if anybody has any great solutions for that, these are the two I'm looking at right here. The Roaming Man YouTube Global 4G Wi-Fi Hotspot and then the Verizon Jetpack. I just have not been able to figure out yet if they're any better than just using my phone. So there you have it, you guys. Just a little of what goes into packing for a vlog vacation. A lot of accessories, a lot of cameras, a lot of tech gear. That's my happy place. That's what I love packing for. That's the part that I'm in charge of. You've seen mom's handled pretty much all of the rest. I'm packed and ready to go. We're going to pack up the van, but first we're going to let you guys know where we're going and we're going to head over to the gardeners for a fun barbecue. They're back in town, back from Florida. So we're going to get together with them, have a fun night together. And then we got to get to bed because we got to get out of town early. You guys, if you couldn't tell, we came over to the gardeners to have a little barbecue, just getting together with friends, enjoying summer, having a BBQ before we head out of town tomorrow. The girls are loving each other. We haven't seen each other in a really long time. So it's been fun to get them together. We also have Ravelli's. Ravelli's in the house. Hazy's inviting them to the, her birthday. You guys, she's having a tea party with teddy bears. This is your invited to Hazel's tea party. Hazel's third birthday, Monday, July 9th at five at Hazy's home. You need to bring a teddy bear for a birthday to have tea with. All right, guys, if you ever want to know how to pull a tooth, just give your kids fruit by the foot. Right guy was over here eating a fruit by the foot, pulled out a piece of it, and lo and behold, he had a tooth on it, cherry flavored. Right guy, dude, nice job, bro. Maybe you get some tooth fairy money tonight for the Ooh, trip. Oh, there it is right there. Big. Little souvenir money from the Tooth Fairy. Hey! hey. <laughs> has turned into from cupcake sharing to a makeup tutorial on how to do your makeup the best part is they're with cupcakes. It oh wow, to make it stick. That's only natural, mom. If you want it to stick, you've got to pre-lick it. I cannot believe you are down for this. Your tongue is out while you're doing it. <laughs> oh, oh I my love gosh. That kind. Just because anytime I get hungry, I can just go <laughs> I can tell you this, you are going to get quadruple the kisses with that on your face. I will give you four times the normal kisses with that on your face. Wow. Now, this is supposed to be rejuvenating. It kind of tightens the skin as the frosting dries and hardens. Hey, did you go, should we go wash off? No. <laughs> wait, wait, Brandon. Yeah. It's real good. Oh, Fortnite, 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 Fortnite in the house. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fortnite in real life. It's real good. It's real good. Haters, back off. Oh my gosh. It's real good. Guys, it has come time to reveal to you the location of our epic vacation, you guys. We've been teasing this all week and we apologize. We've been kind of lame about it. We've strung you along pretty much the entire week. I like surprises if you can't tell. She loves surprises and I've loved you guys voting where you think we're going because it's given us some great ideas on where to go for future trips. So I'm not gonna lie, we might do this again in the future. We got more trips coming in the summer. But guys, it's time for the epic reveal of where this trip will be too. On the count of three, where are we going? One, two, three. Lake Tahoe! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we are going to the gorgeous, glorious, crystal clear blue lakes of Lake Tahoe. We're going to we're going to North Lake Tahoe, which we had a long debate about this. North versus South. We did a lot of research. The North is supposed to be a little more laid back, a little more scenic, whereas the South is more the party side. So we decided to go to the North because even though we party hard, bring in the kids, not that party scene. So we're gonna go to the North Lake Tahoe. We're gonna be doing jet skis. We're gonna do 
and easy. We're gonna do stand up paddle boarding, which you guys know we're bringing the paddle board, and now I can finally tell you why I'm so obsessed with paddle boarding out there. If you look up Lake Tahoe oh on Instagram, the clearest water, the coolest shots are on a paddle board up above, down into the water. You can see everything. It's incredible. We cannot wait. Ryler is literally almost asleep, I think. I'm Crew's asleep. almost asleep. Mom's almost asleep. Guys, that's not good because we need to get into bed because we're going early tomorrow morning. You guys are coming with us. We're packed. We're ready to rock. Thank you guys for being part of this journey. It's about a nine ish hour drive, eight hours and 45 minutes drive, not including potty training. So we'll see how this goes tomorrow. A lot of driving tomorrow. We're going to get on the road early. So excited to finally reveal to you. A lot of you guessed it, guys. A lot, a lot of you guessed it. You must know this area. This is our first time. We've never been. So we are so stoked to go check it out. I hope it lives up to all the hype. We're going to be celebrating my 40th birthday there. Pretty big deal. Pretty stoked about that. Thank you, mom, for putting it all together. This is all her doing. She wanted to surprise me with it. I tried. Then brought me in at the last minute just to help plan. And we could not be more excited, you guys. We love you. Thanks for hanging out with us today. It was a super fun day. Look forward to this weekend. If you haven't, subscribe below so you can see all the fun we're going to have this Plus, weekend. let's try and hit 200,000 while we're there. That'd be cool. Guys, let's try and get 200,000 by Monday. Brandon's birthday. That's a, that's a tight fit. We got about 3,000, 3,500 to go. Tell your but friends. Tell your family. We might be able to do it. Guys, we got to get to bed. We got to get these kids to sleep and we got to get on the road tomorrow. You're coming with us. Don't miss the vlog. We love you. Oh, it's your birthday. <laughs> it actually is coming up. We love you so much. Have a great night. We will see you tomorrow on the road.